Uh, I wanted to ask you, did you have any experience with Immunify or Bug Bounty as well, or mainly you're doing auditing contests? Mainly, nowadays, uh, main, okay, a bulk of my time still does into, still goes into audit contests on like C4 and Hats, but I, I do do Bug Bounties on like the side. Sometimes there are like gaps in audit contests, three or four days, then I would spend the time on Immunify, or sometimes like my schedule just isn't very um, fitting to like participate in a contest. Then I would just fill this gap of time that I have on participating in Immunify. So mm-hmm. my experience so far is that um, I have one high that is actually uh, confirmed. The rest are all like mediums or lows that are worth a lot. But so I would say not a lot of success, some level of success, but not quite there yet. So I'm still trying to improve in that aspect. But I think I'm sort of familiar with how like the bug bounty game works. I'm not good at it yet, but still improving. I mean, it, yeah, and if you like see recently on my Twitter, I did post about the one high that I reported and then got duplicated. And yeah, I didn't get a payout. Yeah. But on the bright side, it was So valid. how was your experience so far? You got a lot of... Uh these validations because of duplicates or like downgrades and stuff or you didn't get so many? So I think my current experience is that it's a 50-50. Sometimes they are, sometimes it's valid. Okay, that basically when you report a bug, there are like three outcomes it can go to. The first outcome is it gets accepted very nicely. So that's great. The second accepted. outcome is... It's, it's valid, but then the protocol um denies the severity. They try to lower it. This is actually very common because I think like from a auditor or bug bounty hunter perspective, you are always trying to escalate the severity. But from a protocol's perspective, they are always trying to de-escalate security, severity. So let's say like you find like a way to um you find a way to lock funds in a project in the protocol then you report it right? actually yeah this is what happened to me I reported like a way to to lock a collateral NFT in the protocol but then from a project's perspective they are, they are saying oh I, I have this way I can insert this module into the contract such that I can unlock it again so my report of a, my report of a permanent freezing of funds became like a temporary freezing of funds for like less than five hours which if you look mm-hmm. at immunifies severity you think is like from a critical to a low but yeah there's there's, there's nothing you can be, be done about that because and in audit contest in, it would be a high for sure because okay exactly yeah interesting yeah in audit contest it's a, it's a different perspective to take I guess so that's like the second result you report it and then it gets downgraded and then the third result is the worst one where your protocol just runs away because they have no money to pay and then they get kicked off Immunify. Yeah. Or they just don't want to pay. So also I've had... Trading. Yeah. I, I've had all three happen to me. Um, the, the the third one happened to me like... Um, I think it was about three or four months ago. And I was like, ah, oh, damn. I, I don't want to do Immunify anymore because I reported a critical bug and then they just went away. But then I've been Did doing... Did you ever it. get paid from Immunify? Or no? Uh... uh as in, do I get paid for... Have I gotten paid before or do I get paid for, like, these protocol runs away bucks? 